guys welcome to co Furniture analysis 101 i'm kate thank you for joining me thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do and don't forget to hit the bell so you know when i upload my videos also like and share as well guys how can i keep the kids away from the covert narcissist is it possible can i can this be done can you keep the kids away from the covert narcissist now it's understandable when you come out of this relationship that the anger that comes with it the uh, as you have play by play of what happened while you were in a relationship, but either towards you or towards the kids probably. And all your intentions are that you want to protect your children because you you know, we understand the the less time the kids stay with these people, especially as you're figuring what is going on or who these people are, the less time that the kids stay with the uh the narcissist, the the better it is for them. You know, so that obviously that's your 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 target or your your you want to keep them away and you know by that i mean you are you are probably angry in the, in the beginning and you know if you're holding on to the children you don't want to go let them visit or when they visit you don't want to release them back or uh, you know like you know those things are you know understandable i thought about it quite frankly i was thinking uh what towards the end when i saw how the divorce and i saw that how it's going to be hell uh the co-parenting with this person is going to be i was you know i wished like there was it was an option and I can afford it where I can actually pay the narcissist to go away. Like that option is available and I have the resources to do it. I'm paying them to pay him to go away and don't talk to me and the kid. Just, just go, you know, go away, you know. But like I said, it's understandable. You're angry. you doing so many things at this point. And, you know, definitely understandable, uh, uh, you know, as right around that time. But... Can you keep the kids away from the narcissist? You know, if narcissistic abuse or, you know, this stuff that we experienced while we're living with these people is something that is shown in court, like you can see it, like it's something that is everybody can actually witness, you know, of course, then that is, you know, we'll, it will be easy for us to, you know, do this. However, you know, except this physical abuse or, some kind of abuse that is documented obviously there's no you know you can't go in there and say this person is a narcissist i need to have my kid with me you know that's that that, that doesn't you know it doesn't it doesn't work that way you know you know that's so the, the court always goes by they want every both parents to be involved in the child's life because they believe every parent is a parent which we know that that's not true you know so when the order comes in it depends on how old the kids are if the kids are younger than you know three or four sometimes or uh, infants or whatever they might end up you know leaving it for whoever the uh the, the mother and if the mother is a narcissist well that's you know that's what happens there so they go by the best interest of the child and the best interest of the child to the family court is that both parents are supposed to be part participating which you know we lived with these people we know that they don't participate with anything they come around to use people they come around to use the kids you know so but court orders are there and court orders are there for you to follow them because a narcissist is not going to be following these things and this is one of the reasons why where you want to stick to that order because when you do go to court you'd have nothing else to fall back on besides this order because you know these people will go to court and they will act they'll will, they will be so convincing with their actions and you know the drama they're putting on that even though if you don't know them you buy it which ends up being the case they morph into a whole different person in court you know but if you have your documentation you when and you know that you're not you know you're not deviating from the the uh, the order or the agreement that's all you have but if you are deviating from it these people want to they want you to be in court every week they want they, they get supply from this you know so they will they will want you because they don't want they don't care about the resolution they don't care about the kids either but if this is going to get them supply from you where you get mad every time about this and you, you know you go to court every day and yes they are willing to do this they could go they keep, they keep dragging you back to court just for that they don't care how it turns out at each they, they do not care you know, you, it becomes a source of supply to them when you go back and forth uh, with this. You know, it's because the joy is always in the fight with the narcissist. It's always in the fight with the narcissist. And of course, as you, you know, when you're holding the kids back or you, you don't want to let the kids visit, you don't let the kids leave when they come visit, you know, they're going to term you as the crazy person, the jealous person. It's really, you know, of course, they moved on to the next supply. 
So they're going to be like, yo, all that action of you holding the kids back or not releasing them when they're supposed to is going to be uh, categorized as uh, you being jealous, the jealous ex, the crazy ex. You're just envious about their life with the new supply, you know, and everything. So that's how all that will come in. Of course, like I said, it's justified, especially when you come out of the relationship. It's justified for that anger. And I, you know, you want to... <laughs> take that out in different ways and if that's the, keeping the children with you or when they come visit you don't want to let them go anymore you know like it, like i said it's understandable but as time goes on you on obviously you are you ease away you move away from this thought you know the, from this kind of thinking because like i said every fight with you the, the masses doesn't care they will drag you to court for everything as long if you start deviating from what is written on the in the um the decree agreement you know or order they will want to be in court with you every day because they they want that supply from you and of course they are running around telling everybody how you are the crazy you're the jealous you're envious and all that stuff all that you trying to protect your children from what you know that nobody else is seeing in court is going to be termed that way you know so as you're healing and you're coming out of this you know you want obviously focus on you know having new routines with the children you know you heal and move away from this and stick with what is ordered because i guarantee you once you start sticking with what the order says these people don't really want the kids to come up with it like the joy is in the fight you would be surprised when you say remind them yeah it's time for you to come get the kids this is your time this is your weekend you need to come get the kids this weekend the kids are supposed to set, spend the, the summer with you they're supposed to sp spend the spring break with you i guarantee you i've experienced this that they will bail on you they will not even want to but guess what when you say oh i'm not taking the, the kids are staying with me this spring break and that is the time that these people go back and look at the agreement because it's, it presents another time for them to fight you you know They'll go and read it. That's when they'll read it. That's when they want to follow it, you know. And then the next time, you know, oh, we're, we're going to court because, you know, that's that, that's the supply. So if you hear, when you heal, rather, as you're healing and you, you move away to staying, you know, within what what is written. And even encourage that, like, you know, maybe not encourage, not the word. <laughs> encourage is not the word. Even, um, you know. Let them know, yeah, it's time for you to pick up the kids. It's time for me, let, let me come drop off the kids. It's time for me to drop off the kids. They are the ones that will start moving moving away from this. I guarantee you. But once you start fighting, that's it. And the only way, if you are to get these people away from the kids, if there's some kind of documentation, which is why you need to be on point with your documentation, any kind of abuse whatsoever that you can, physical abuse usually, because that is the only way you know, whatever it is, or uh, any kind of abuse, really, really, towards the kids, you know, towards the kids that you can document. You document that, and you document, you document, like I said in one of my my videos, you document exactly how the kids said it, so that when you go back to court, when the judge brings the child in, they will ask them, and they, you don't want them the words conflicting with what, you, you know, you said it, you know, and what they said, because you're trying to, you know, polish whatever it is they said, you know, you say it exactly how they tell you, you know. Unfortunately, the court system does not. We are in a in, in a bind here. The court the court system does not understand what we you know what we went through, what we are currently going through with these people. Because when they get there, they're going to act the movie. You know, when you get there and if you deviate them from the the order, that's the only thing that the judge is going to see is you you are deviating from the order. It doesn't matter the reason why you're deviating from the order because this uh, person over here is acting the moving court for them. You know, so that's why it's good that you stick in, you stick to the order, so that when you do show up in court, it will be for them deviating and you come in to enforce it. You know, I wish there's a way for us to actually keep the case besides um, having a record of every kind of abuse that you know that shows up. Which, like you know, you when your kids go over there or your kids are staying over there, you have a way to communicate with the kids so you can actually get what is going on over there so they can actually tell you if anything happens because that is the only chance of you actually you know if you are to have any you know so custody or limited visits to the narcissist that only way that will happen but as far as going to court in the beginning they all want to divide everything 50 50 or whatever you know for both parents regardless because they do not see what we're seeing 
they do not know what narcissistic abuse is you can't go there and start telling them of how this person is busy being petty and switching things around in the house and trying to confuse it they don't they're not going to understand all that you know it's, it's unfortunate that that's what we're stuck with and that's for them to have any kind of you getting custody and cutting out the narcissist if some kind of abuse that is documented that is going to you know stand in, in court and that is only where unfortunately you know if, if not the courts the family court is always going with whatever the best interest of the child and the best interest of the child on paper means that the father and the mother are all participating you know and you know everybody's co-parenting co happily you know you guys when that's not the <laughs> that is not the case yet consistently fighting these battles you know trying to be 10 steps ahead of the narcissist because they are always plotting something always well guys get a hold of your mind get a hold of your mind that at least we can control <laughs> our relationship with the children we can control uh what the court system is saying or the family court we don't have that much control over it but if we get a hold of our mind and know that way we'll stay you know we're always you know uh, 10 steps ahead of these people because you best you best believe as you know they are always trying to plug something all right guys take care